Hey everybody, it's your girl Court. Mm -hmm. Hey, I just wanted to come on yeah. here and tell every single autism mom, welcome to the community. Not only a community, but a community of sisterhood. And um, this, 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 this particular group, what it started out was with us encouraging each other through the the love of christ through the love of jesus and then it came out to be a group that um wanted to share the things that they are going through with their children um if you have a child with autism or if you're a grandmother or or, or, or an auntie or an uncle or anybody that knows anybody with autism you know that it is um tough at the beginning but then it begins to get better and so i just wanted to get on here and say welcome 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 to the community uh, we used to have so many other things that's in this community, but I just did not want you to be discouraged when you get on here. I want you to know that God has a master plan for you and your child. I already know that because I have been through it. My son, my oldest son just turned 15. My old, youngest son is 12 years old. And a lot of times we go through different seasons of change and seasons of connection. And what has happened in this group, that's exactly what has happened. I went through a season. I went through a season of, 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 of distress and, 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 and depression and, and turmoil and chaos in my life. I needed a community of women that were just like me that would help me and to guide guide me and to motivate me and but I am a Christian I love Jesus I am a Jesus girl and look I love to talk about him because he has done so much for me and he has lifted me up out of things that nobody don't even understand I never could know but I came by to tell you today that this community is going to be a community for you it's going to be a community the way you want it to be that's how it's going to be Nobody will come in and and tell you the, the, the right things for your child because it's a spectrum. A spectrum is when it's all over the place. So my child ain't like your child. Your child ain't like my child. But what we can do is we can share information together, showing that our children have autism in different ways. And maybe I can utilize the information that you give to me if it may help my child. But if it does not help my child, what I also can do is give you encouragement. And that's who I am. I'm not only an encourager, but I'm a such, such a go-getter. And when I say go-getter, I go get it. I don't I don't wait on nobody. I, I don't wait on nobody. I I know that I'm covered. I'm covered by the blood of Jesus Christ. So if I get on here, guess what? I'm gonna be I'm I'm gonna be talking about him. Not only am I gonna be talking about him, but I'm gonna be about it. That's one thing that I know that all of us autism moms have to learn to do when we go through things in this lifetime with autism. We have to be about it. We can't go up and just be talking all these words. Yeah, I got to do this. I got to do that. I got to do this. I got to do that. And there's no action behind it. One thing that I do know is that when I had all that talking and I had all those words and I ain't knew what to do and I didn't do anything because I didn't know what to do, when to do and how to do it. Guess what? Nothing changed. But when I put actions behind my words, things start to change. And then I put my prayer behind my words. Things start to shift in my life. And that's when I started to come up and say, hey, I know somebody, somebody on this earth has to know something about what I'm going through what I can make a change in, what I can talk about, what I can be about, who can lift me up in the time of trouble. Guess what? Nobody, I could find nobody. And so God says, hey, I got your hand. I got your heart. Let me lead you. Let me guide you. And so I opened up my hand. I opened up my heart. He gave me this community, this community full of beautiful women. I have met so many beautiful women in this community and they're still in this community. It's just that sometimes when life go a life in, many times, a lot of us have to do life. We have to do life so we're not going to post like we used to post and be about how we used to be about, including me. So when I take breaks off, guess what? That don't mean that you have to take a break off. That don't mean that the next mom don't have to say nothing. It's just all about growing in grace. As we grow, as this community continue to, to flourish, continue to fly, continue to go, 
You can share information. You can talk about Jesus. You can talk about encouragement. You can you can help another mom. You can talk about your story. You can go live. You can comment on somebody else's comment. You can do whatever you choose to do in this community. However, this community will always be available even if you don't. Even if you don't. So today I wanted to encourage everybody because I haven't been on here um, probably in like a couple months just to say welcome to the community. I might go under your post when you introduce yourself and say welcome, but I wanted to come on here and say welcome, welcome, welcome. And my duty is to definitely go back out and talk to all the other autism moms that we have actually interviewed beforehand because we always see each other on social media. We always are on our post praying for each other, lifting each other up, talking to each other. We are still in each other's lives. Everybody follow everybody's personal page. We are still doing a major thing for this community in the back, in the back side in the back end, over here on this, over here on this side, over here on this post, over here on this, you know, we're commenting and we, we're lifting each other up and supporting each other through it all, through it all. Hey, if you are new autism mom, know that trouble don't last always, it gets better. Yes, it may be the same, but it don't look the same. It won't feel the same as they get older. Why? Because you are maturing in it. Your child is maturing in it. You get to learn so many things. Your child begins to learn so many things. You get to be like, okay, I ain't worrying about that because I know what that is. I've already seen that. Your child begins to say, oh, I recognize that. So I'm not going to get so upset this time. That's how this journey works. So I say welcome to the community. This is your girl, Court. <laughs> the one that started this amazing community there's more in store guess what season after season it changes i don't know what's fit to come up but it's about to be bomb hey i might just go live with another autism mom that have been in here for so long with me i don't know what we're gonna do but i just wanted to encourage you today that not to worry because my pastor he preached today and let me tell you something real quick then i got to go he preached about worry and you know us autism moms we worry we worry about everything especially at the beginning because we don't know nothing and we've never seen nothing we've never seen this stuff nobody really truly and honestly if you have a typical child do not go through these things so it's so we've never seen this stuff. So we get to worrying, thinking about things that just that we think about the worst. Oh, what am I gonna do? What about their future? What if I die? What's gonna happen? What if, what are they doing? They got poop all over the floor. They're pulling up my towel. They eating dirt. They got snot everywhere. They won't let me touch them. They got they done cut up. They done cut the arm up. It's blood everywhere. They won't let me help them. Well, let me tell you something. Yes. It may happen. Why? Because we are autism moms. But let me tell you another thing. God is still in control. He is watching you. He is watching the scene. He knows what the scene looks like because he's already seen the scene. He's already been there in your life. That is your hope. That is your, that, guess what? That's, that's your go-to. That's your, that's your motivator. That's your inspiration. You go right back to his word. You calm yourself down. You pray about it. You meditate on his word. You see what he says. It's what he, you look into his word and see what he says and how his character is, what he's all about, what he says about you, what he says about your child. You go into there and you know that he's a, he's a present help in the time of trouble. You're going to know that he's joy in the morning and trouble don't last always. You're going to know that you have to trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding, but acknowledge him and he shall direct your path. You're going to know so many things that the things that you're looking at, you can't really believe it. You can't even look at it to think that it's so horrible. You can't look at it like it's bad. You can't worry about what you see. You got to have faith. What is faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We don't look at what we see. We remember what God says about us. You humble yourself. You take a big breath and you take care of that one situation. 
because you're gonna have another situation, situation and another and situation another. and another situation and another and another and another and it's gonna get better before it gets it's gonna get worse before it gets better but once it gets better you're gonna be like oh thank you jesus but let me give you a tip before it get better say thank you jesus when it's bad when you say it, thank you jesus when it's bad you're gonna shout a little bit harder when it get good I got to get off here. I just wanted to say, welcome, welcome, welcome to Autism Moms Believe. You can post in here. You can love on yourself. You can love on others. You can go live. You can talk about your child. You can ask questions. And if somebody else respond, that's great. That's good. If they don't, they don't. If they do, they do. God knows the master plan. And we rocking with the plan. I got to get out of here. Peace and blessings. Until next time, I love you with the love of Christ.